Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven. We are here in our Montana ranch and I've got some big surprises to share with you guys. Oh, look, it's one of the eagles. Scree, scree. There you go, little bald eagle. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. That is so cool though. It cracks me up every time because it's like there's no water around here and you guys eat fish. What are you doing here, bald eagles? Where's your fish? So, oh wait, I guess uh, every time and then I like scroll over here and I'm like, oh wait a second, there is water here. But yes, yeah, so those guys are having a good day. We're having a good day and I've got some major surprises. You can probably see a couple of them. Ta-da! Right away, look at this, you guys. We have the American paints. And not only do we have the American paints, but we also have, ta-da, this little one is a Hanoverian. Look at this. Look at this, this is Cammy, and she is a little Hanoverian. I'm so excited that she is here with us. So our goal today is going to be to get her up to level five so that we can try breeding her. Oh, look, she's got pretty dark blue eyes. But we're gonna try breeding her along with one of the American paints, the male American paint that we have. And we're gonna see if we can end up with a special constellation horse. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we finally had enough luck to be able to get one of each type of horse that we needed. All right, let's go ahead and put you in here. There you go, little one. What do you think? You want some carrots next? Well, I've got plenty of carrots. So you can have them in just a second. But yes, so we're gonna try breeding her with the male American paint. Is this him? This is him, and he's actually going to need a good name. So if you guys have any name suggestions for our two new American paints and for our Hanoverian, which I hope I'm saying correctly now. I keep sticking extra letters in words. That's something that I tend to do. <laughs> But um, yeah, if you've got names for them, then please let me know. It's going to be really fantastic to try to get like tier three level Hanoverian or American paints and to see if we can end up with the Sagittarius horse. And thank you guys for letting me know that no, only if you buy it does the tattoo glow so prettily. And there's some pictures that people have put on my Facebook of their glowing ones and they're so lovely, but I just can't justify the price. So we're going to just go ahead and get our non glowy constellation horses because that's just fine. Constellation horses are awesome because when you have constellation horses and you breed them up, look what happens. Ta-da! Ta-da! 900 diamonds! 900 diamonds! And those are all just earned from collecting from the mine and doing events and from breeding up the horses. A lot of horse breeding. And I've pretty much, since we have so much money, just gotten to the point where when I come in, I'll come in a couple times a day and instead of focusing on feeding everybody for so long if it's just little things that they want like grass I'll just put them out in the the paddock and come back and put them out in the paddock again and it adds up really quickly I, mean, I actually used to think that paddock training like took too long but if you just have like a minute to pop in and put everybody in the paddock with stable hands it's so much better than like having to spend a lot of time you may not have trying to feed everyone like really intensely not that you shouldn't feed your horses <laughs> But thankfully, these are little digital horses, so they don't mind. So yeah, the paddock training has proven out to be really successful so far. And now we just need to work on getting this little girl up to like level 5 so we can try breeding for the Sagittarius. And we actually have a second American paint. And so I realized earlier today that that means we have two attempts to be able to get the Sagittarius every day. And we can only keep the breeding house occupied with one pair of horses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this little girl right here. Hello, this is Knight. She is a female. She needs a new name that would fit her, her breed characteristics a little bit better. But I realized, why not send her off so that she can go be in the uh, German ranch? And being in the German ranch, then anytime she needs, like, anytime we have the free breeding house in the German ranch, we can try breeding her against a Hanoverian on a friend's ranch. And I think that would move things along a lot faster. So we're definitely going to try that. All right. Hello, little one. And we're just gonna have to see what happens. All right, so you're doing good. Cammy. you just want all the low level stuff today, don't you, sweetie? So to do that, I need to go check on the French, or the German ranch, excuse me, to see if we have any room. I really can't wait to get all of my stables opened up. We do have some room. 
Oh, that's possibly because we have like a baby incoming. Okay, oh, and we have Safa. I'm really excited about having the Bajeri, B Belgian, oh my goodness, warm blood elite, because I, I think that breeding her or even just seeing what she would look like as an adult would be really fun. So we'll def we're definitely keeping her and we're trying to raise one of Kareen's daughters, this horse right here, up to level 10, because Shell is going to be worth, you're gonna be worth so much, Shell. You're gonna be worth so, so, so much when she gets to level 10. Um, should we upgrade the paddock for 55? Uh, I'm so close to a thousand diamonds, but you know what, I'm gonna do it. Because, like I was just saying, I think paddocks are really great investments. Because then I can just come over here and now she's going to earn 360 experience instead of just 220 or something like that. And so I'm going to put her out in the fields. <gasps> Look, and we have diamonds right there to help us kind of recoup our losses. Whoa, 20. 20 diamonds, just like that. And then we come right down here and we get a little ruby. And then we come over here and back to mining. And I got really lucky and I actually got a sapphire from the mini mine last night. So that got me really, really excited. That was really, oh, I was just so like, yes, now we can buy one of the cool rare things. And let's go ahead and feed Safa because I'm really curious. I mean, just look how pretty she is. I'm just really, really curious about what she would look like as an adult because she's very lovely. All right, ooh, and she's gonna want a granola bar soon. That's gonna be good for us. That'll help her grow up faster. Oh, look, it's that really cool, like, horse head. Oh, and there's this adorable, what even is this? What even is this? I'm gonna get one. What is that? That is so cute. Oh, cool, and we've got some, like, rewards to claim. Okay, yellow feed, seven friend ranches, sell a male horse in the French ranch, harvest 11 carrot muffins. This one looks like it's a little bit too much for the day. So we'll check on that in a second. All right, I need to go back and feed my Hanoverian. Hanoverian, Hanoverian? We'll figure it out. I'll get there, don't you guys worry. All right. In fact, she needs a little name. Cammy needs a good name. Safa is actually, like, I kind of want to rename, let's rename this little one Saffron. Because she's nothing like the color Saffron, but she just looks really, really cool. All right, Saffron. There we go. And your name was really close to it already, my dear. Oh, she's so pretty. All right, so let's go back to the American Ranch because we have work to do. And we'll go ahead and it's gonna take a while. Oh, well, we'll feed her. Hello, Knight, who needs a new name? One of my beautiful American paints. Aren't you just so lovely? Yeah, are you so pretty? There we go, she really liked that. A nice chunk of, oh, and you want some cereal? Well, you can have some cereal in a little bit. Right now, I'm actually going to send her off to the German ranch. And it's gonna take a couple hours for her to transfer over there, unfortunately. But then once she is over there, we will be able to go over and visit our good friend because all of our horses come from Karsten. And Karsten, thank you so much for being an amazing friend because she has left out the horses that need uh, to be used for breeding the Constellation horse for the month. And she's actually got like multiple ones to pick from. Oh, look at you, what the heck are you? I have no idea. So she has like the male Hanoverian right here. And then over here, we've got Athena, the female, so that we're able to like breed with either of them. And then these are both like a male and female. Here's the male and here's the female American paint set. So if you need to be able to get the Constellation Horse of the Month, there's like either gender of both sets, which is just so helpful. All right, so let's get back to work. We're gonna feed this little one. Oh, Cammy, hang on. Into the fields I go, harvest away, harvest away. All right, Cammy. Coming back with some food. Here you go, sweetie. Here you go. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, we got something. A little bit of grass hiding in there. All right, and then she's gonna want some apples. <laughs> Come on, Cammy, want something higher level than that, my love. And then we've got like a desire for grass down here. So we could just work on these guys. I do believe we are trying to work on, let's see, not Willow, but Jazz here. Oh, Jazz is at now at level 10. All right, Jazz. Well, I hope you have a wonderful life with your new family. We were working on raising her up to level 10 specifically for that reason. So it's nice to know that we've now got the space. Because space, that's one of the hard things is like you're really sad to see the horses go. But space is at a premium. You've really got to make those tough decisions. All right, let's go ahead and get some corn planted. 
because I'm worried that Cammy's gonna want some corn. <laughs> it's like, Cammy, why? Why all the low level stuff, Cammy? And then while we're waiting, oh, yep, she wants some corn. Do I have enough corn? Ah, oh, phew, I do. Cammy, I love you. Do you want to ask for like some muffins? I have a lot of carrot muffins. For a while there, it felt like all my horses wanted were carrot muffins, so I like made a whole bunch of them. And now I have to sell them because I run out of room. <laughs> Oh, see what I mean? Space is like, yeah, there! She's like, well, maybe a little fruit, like, a little fruit feed, cherry feed sounds good. Maybe not a carrot muffin. Are you more of a, a fruit kind of girl? Not so much the vegetables? Alright, let's see if that helps her out. A little bit, a little bit. Oh, she wants some more! Alright, well, we'll get you some more in just a second. Alright, so that's going well. Phew! Alright, let's go ahead and check the mail. Yay! Stable hand! Yay! Courtney and unknown people visiting! Woohoo! Woo! Like, all sorts of stuff going on. Vanessa Burgon became your friend. Go and visit! Yay! I haven't gotten any friend requests in a while, so I'm not sure if I'm like maxed out on them or not. Oh, look at the little house! So they've got like a fully expanded house and market. Feed lots, there's the carnival. Oh, hello, beautifuls. How are you guys doing? There's some carrots back here. Somebody, the, this Missouri Foxtrotter is wearing some very nice, very nice pieces of uh, tack there. And how are we doing over here? So the German ranch is looking good. Ooh, look at these really highly upgraded stables. I like them. Hmm. Mini mine isn't open yet, but the big mine is. Those mines are so useful. I wasn't sure about them at first because they're such a huge investment initially, but they really are useful. I feel like they pay back their their investment if you're on like pretty often. And who are you? It's a little Welsh pony. Oh, that makes me want to try like breeding ponies sometime. When we don't have some other special events going on, we'll try breeding up some ponies because that's that would just be so much fun. All right. Oh no, I don't have any cherry feed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we're just gonna go to next because even though it costs a couple diamonds, because we really do want to try to get her breeding this today, like this time. While we're right here, little one, we need to do that. You know why? So you can have a Sagittarius. So, oh my gosh, she just wants like all the low level stuff like I thought. So that's okay, we'll continue to take care of our other horses while we wait. Like Scout here, who apparently wants to have a bunch of the forage feed, aka the grass. So let's go ahead and give that to you, my friend. Very important part of your diet. Probably better for you than giving you cherry feed, which looks like delicious cherry scone cakes or something. And you're gonna have a cookie in a little bit. Okay, that's A-OK, -okay, sir. All right, and then we have another cherry lover over here. Yes, hello Ryu. Now, this one, I just want to keep this halflinger because she's gorgeous. <laughs> Isn't she just gorgeous? I love her. Look at her rump. She has the most adorable rump and she has the most beautiful mane. I just, I, I, I am totally enchanted with her. She wants some apples to eat in a little bit. All right, Cammy's ready to be fed again. All right, we've got a little bit of corn. Hi, Cammy. Are you so cute today? Are you so cute? There you go. She's like, whoa, what you doing? All right, and then she wants us to clean out her paddock. Okay, well, we'll wait on that too. And then let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit more grass planted. It grows really quickly, but I just feel like we have a lot of requests for it today. And then I'm gonna get some of the wheat planted because we always need wheat for cooking all sorts of different things. And let's see, yay, more diamonds from owning a paddock level. Sell seven yellow feed. We might be able to pull that off. Sell a male horse in the French ranch. Don't think we can pull that off, but maybe the yellow feed? Oh, yes. Cammy, Cammy, Cammy. Cammy, Cammy, Cammy. Today is her day. We need to give her a name. Maybe a name that means something like Patience. Patience is actually a really good name because that's what she's teaching me. Let's see, can I fit Patience here? I can! I like it! I want to keep her as, as, as Patience. That's a perfect name. That's a perfect name for her. So we're going to keep Patience because she's teaching us Patience. And I don't have enough yellow feed to be able to sell a bunch of it. So, hmm, maybe start making some? Well, I need more corn for that, so it's a good thing I'm growing some more corn. Oh, patience is ready! Alright. 
One more level after this, huh, honey bun? All right. There we go, level four. We're almost there, you guys. <gasps> is she gonna want something? Nope, she is a patient, simple meal sort of kind of girl. Just wants some good old grass. <laughs> so we'll work with her on that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and go over and check on the French Ranch because we haven't had a chance to do that just yet. Make sure everybody's doing well here. See what level everybody's at. All right, all right, gather up all this, gather up all that. Uh, maybe harvest up a couple apple trees. Because I think I used up some apples. And then let's see, I'm going to come over and clean up the field. Because you never know, sometimes it's just coins. But other times you get really lucky and it's some gems. And then you're very happy. Oh, there's a lot of coins. Oh my goodness. Yay, see, we got two, two little diamonds back. All right, three diamonds just from cleaning up our fields. How awesome is that? And let's check what level everybody is at. So we still need to rename Zhang. And Wings is kicking around. She is now worth 40 diamonds, but she's about to level up, so we won't go anywhere with her. Um, Let's see, and then there's Lewis right here, who's adorable. Worth 25, he's about to level up too. So let's go ahead and, oh, that's right, we have a new foal. Irish, what a cute little name. So we'll put the little foal in here too. All right, and then we're gonna come over and we'll start our first breeding event of the day. It's going to be Zhang, our tier two, and Starbright, our tier two. And we're crossing our fingers, remember, for that tiny, itty bitty little sliver of pink. We want that sliver of pink because that means having this beautiful, beautiful tier three Leo. And that is our big goal here, you guys. Because if we could become like premium Leo breeders, we would have all the diamonds we ever needed. Nope. <laughs> So it really is kind of like winning the lottery or something. We're just gonna have to keep coming back a day after day Crossing our fingers and hoping. All right, let's go ahead and send her out to the field and We'll be right back. We'll take care of these foals if patience still needs like some time <laughs> For us to be patient waiting for her next her next meal she wants All right. Oh, and we don't have enough grass. Well, that's a little embarrassing It's because everybody wants some grass. Good thing. We just started growing some all right, let's come over here. I really should upgrade all of my stables to like top tier stables. All right, patients. It's about time. Are you ready? You ready to get something so we can we can grow you up really quickly? Really more grass. <laughs> more grass. Ah, <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths, Siri. All right, well, you know what? We'll give her a couple more times. We're going to go ahead and feed Scout. See? My half of me is just like, oh, let's just rush it. Let's just throw diamonds at her and rush it. And then the other half of me is like, you know, it is a good lesson in patience to just be like, okay, well, she's not ready to grow yet. And actually the time that we're spending doing other things is really helpful because we've got like the French ranch taken care of. We've went over and we are taking care of the other horses so that they're getting to higher levels. And see, now she's ready to be fed again. And we have enough food. So really, patience. I feel like I feel like this is a very educational morning with you. I feel like I'm learning a lot. Thank you, patience. All right, let's go ahead. There we go. You are so cute. Okay, and now she just wants like her little paddock cleaned out again. Oh my. All right, but we're good. We're good with that. Cause it's a lesson in patience, like I said. All right, let's go ahead and put the grass down. See, look at all the stuff we're getting done that we wouldn't be if we were already done and shoving patients into the breeding like house like okay let's start seeing babies all right oh and i'm gonna need more soybeans so we'll have to plant some soybeans in a little bit but let's go back over and we'll check on the foals over here so i'm gonna put the little foal who wants the grass feed out in the field because i'm out of grass feed all right Louis, out you go and then we'll come in here and we'll give this little one Hi, Irish. Hi. And we'll give you some apples. There you go. There you go, buddy. And my general rule of thumb with these guys is that because I have so much money and because every level the constellation horse goes up, they're worth more money uh, or worth more diamonds, I should say. I just will keep putting them out and keep putting them out because they're worth more diamonds over level 10 too. 
So I'll just keep putting them out and putting them out until we run out of room for horses here. And then I'll sell whoever is like at the highest amount of diamonds that we we're wanting to sell. You know, not if not if it was like Starbright. We're not selling Starbright. But um, that's just why we have so many and why even when they hit level 10, I might keep going for a little while. Just because, you know, it's five more diamonds per level. So if we have all of the money in the world to like throw at them, then why not? So let's go ahead and go back to our Montana ranch. I'm really, I'm, I'm being patient. I'm, I was about to say I'm really ready to be done. Really ready to have her ready to grow up and, and just see if we're close. Because I'm so excited to see if we have this chance to get the Sagittarius or not. We didn't get the last couple Constellation horses. And I even tried really hard. Alright, so you want some cherries? Oh, that's actually a good point. While we're waiting for her to do that, let's come back over to Germany. And I actually need to harvest up our cherry trees. So we're going to harvest up the cherry trees. There we go. That should give us lots and lots of cherries. And I'm going to plant these. There we go. Hello, little one. Let's go ahead and let's stick you out in the field too. There we go. And then I'm also going to harvest up the grapes. And I think we actually like have... Yay! Look at this! We actually do have another grapevine I can get. So there we go. See? Useful. Useful use of our time. And then before I make more cherry feed, because I know we're out of it now, let's pop over. Do, 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 and feed patients. All right, patients, are you ready? Here's a couple cherries. It makes me think of the game Hi Ho Cherio. How many of you guys have ever played that? I loved Hi Ho Cherio as a kid. <sighs> She's almost there. And then we will go ahead and go off and make some cherry feed. So really, it all worked out the way it should. We got lots of stuff done because Patience was just taking her time growing up into a, the beautiful horse I am sure she will be. All right, let's do that. And I think we might need some mixed feeds in the future. And I think I saw it was down to like one sweet feed. So we're gonna get the sweet feed growing, like cooking up too. All right, and everything is good here. Everything's good over here. I kind of want to, maybe we'll level up some of the stables. When can I make another stable? Rank 32, so we're almost there. We just need to level up and then I should be able to open up that stable. And I'll have to check when I can open up the stables in the French Ranch too. Oh, and there was a special message about where the new steeplechase that they're building is going to be in the world. And that was like a secret Friday message on the Facebook of Horsehaven. And it was really cool. I might, maybe I'll do a little special update about that to share with you guys where the next one's gonna be. All right, hurry up, sweetie. You're a big lesson in patience today. Oh, but here we go. Oh my gosh. Patience. There you are. There she is. And you know what? We did get a lot done as a result. Hi, sweetie. Hi. I kind of want to dress her up a little bit. And look at this. We got so much done as a result. And we ended up with 35 more diamonds than we started with for the day. So not bad. Not bad at all. We spent diamonds. We upgraded things. We sold a horse. Sold a couple horses, I think. We managed to get Scout here, who needs a new name, up to level 10. So whenever he is done with his breeding cycles, then we'll be able to find him a good home right away. And now, my friends, the moment of truth. Here's Scout. Here's Patience. And let's see what happens. All right, there's a 12% chance for this lady bitty right here. All right, are we going to get him? Are we going to get him? <laughs> who knows? I have a feeling it's going to be lots of days of this question. Nope. But we are going to get another adorable American paint. So there we go. There we go. We have a little boy American paint on the way. <laughs> and Patience is fully grown. So we're good there. And we're putting this beautiful girl out. Oh, she's so lovely. She's really, really beautiful. We're putting her out to be able to run around and have a good time in the paddock. Absolutely awesome. And the last thing we're going to do for the day is go ahead and do our little trivia. Which of these... Uh, which of these is not the name of a real life horse breed and I think it's the Coffin Bay Pony. What? There's really a Coffin Bay Pony? That's amazing. In game, which petite horse breed can you buy in the French market? Um, this one? Yay! Woo! Look at all those diamonds. All right. 
And the 2015 Arabian Nights in-game event began in which month? Ooh, um, was that July? June, darn. Oh, I don't know if we were playing back then. All right, well, we are now done for the day, you guys. We have got babies popping up all over the place, and I cannot wait to see if we're gonna have any luck with our constellation horses in the future. And also, I'm thinking we're either gonna need to shift into more of like an autumn look, or maybe do something more seasonal for the holidays as far as decorating our ranches. So I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope you also had a lesson in patience, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.